Hi, my name is Jeff Hutchings and this is how to set up a playlist on the Vortex Wireless 2 using Ableton Live Lite. In Ableton Live Lite, add an instrument to a MIDI track. Right mouse click the instrument and click Group. Click on the Chain List icon. Right mouse click the instrument again and click Group. Click on the Chain List icon. Now add a second instrument. And rename the group in the parent instrument rack as Song 1. Click on Chain. Set instrument 2 in the ruler to 1. Now click on Hide. Add a second instrument to the parent instrument rack. Right mouse click the instrument and click Group. Click on the Chain List icon and add a second instrument. Rename the group in the parent instrument rack to Song 2. Click on Chain and set Instrument 2 to 1. Click on Hide. Add a third instrument to the parent instrument rack. Right mouse click the instrument and click Group. Click on the Chain List icon and add a second instrument. Rename the group in the parent rack as Song 3. Click on Chain and set Instrument 2 to 1. Click Hide. Click Chain in the parent instrument rack and set Song 2 to 1 and Song 3 to 2. Arm the track and set the input type to Vortex and the input channel to 1. The sound patches for the Vortex Wireless 2 have now been set up in Ableton Live Lite for three songs. Add a drum kit to a MIDI track. Add the MIDI drum track for the first song to the first session view slot. Double click the first session view slot and turn off loop. Add the MIDI drum track for the second song to the second session view slot and turn off loop. Add the MIDI drum track for the third song to the third session view slot and turn off loop. Add a bass guitar patch to a MIDI track. Add the MIDI bass guitar track for the first song to the first session view slot. Add the MIDI bass guitar track for the second song to the second session view slot and add the MIDI bass guitar track for the third song to the third session view slot. Now add a guitar patch to a MIDI track. Add the MIDI guitar track for the first song to the first session view slot. Add the MIDI guitar track for the second song to the second session view slot. And add the MIDI guitar track for the third song to the third session view slot. For an audio backing track, Add the audio file to an audio track in the session view slot that matches the session row for that song. Here I've added an FX backing track for the song 2, so I've placed it in the session view slot 2. The backing tracks for the song have now been set up in Ableton Live Lite. For the guitar track, I want different audio effects on the guitar, so I will set this up. Click the guitar track heading to reveal the instrument. Right mouse click the instrument and click on group. Click on the chain list icon. Now add the same instrument twice so there is one for each song. Click on the second instrument and add an audio effect. Click on the third instrument and add a different audio effect. Now click on Chain. Set the second instrument to 1 and the third instrument to 2. Then click on Hide. The guitar patch has now been set up to sound different for each song. Now drag the drum rack to the mixer drop area to add a drum rack track. Add audio sound effects to the drum rack pads. Arm the drum rack track. Set input type to Vortex and input channel to 15. 
These audio sounds are now set up. In the Vortex Preset Editor, retrieve your first preset. Pads 1 and 2 will be used to select the Vortex sound patch, set up as 0 or 1. So set both pads to type CC Momentary, MIDI Channel 1 and CC 36. Now set the press and release for pad 1 to 0 and the press and release for pad 2 to 1. You might want to set the colour of pads 1 and 2 to white so you can quickly spot them while playing. Pad 3 will be used to stop the player at the end of the song. So set pad 3 to type note MIDI channel 14 and note 21. Make sure velocity is set to 0. You might want to set the colour for pad 3 to red so you can quickly spot it while playing. Pad 4 will be used to start the drum, bass guitar, guitar and audio effects tracks. So set pad 4 to type note MIDI 14 and note 1. Make sure velocity is set to 0. You might want to set the colour of pad 4 to green so you can quickly spot it while playing. Pad 5 will be used to play the audio sample in the drum rack. So set pad 5 to type note MIDI channel 15 and note 1, making sure the velocity is set to 0. Pad 6 can be used to play a second audio sample in the drum rack. So set pad 6 to type note MIDI channel 15 and note 11, make sure the velocity is set to 0. You might want to set the colour of pads 5 and 6 to yellow so you can quickly spot them while playing. Pad 7 will be used to set the tempo of the first song. So set Pad 7 to type CC Momentary, Channel 1, CC 37 and set Press and Release to 66. We will set up Ableton Live Lite when we link the MIDI so 66 is 126 beats per minute. For your own songs, Set the press and release to the beats per minute for your song, minus 60. So for example, for a BPM of 140, set the press and release to 140 minus 60, which is 80. MIDI only supports 0 to 127, so in Ableton we will set the minimum to 60 BPM instead of 0. So 0 now becomes 60 BPM. Note that this means that the maximum BPM will be 187. You might want to set the colour for pad 7 to orange so you can quickly spot it while playing. Pad 8 will be used to set the sound patches for the Vortex and the FX for the MIDI guitar track. So set pad 8 to type CC Momentary, MIDI Channel 1, CC 38 and set the press and release to 0. You might want to set the colour of pad 8 to cyan so you can quickly spot it while playing. Now send this preset back to the Vortex to your chosen preset number for song 1. For songs 2 and 3 we will modify this preset and send them to two other preset numbers in the Vortex. Pads 1, 2 and 3 stay the same for all presets. So now set pad 4 to type note MIDI channel 14 and note 2. Set pad 5 to type note MIDI channel 15 and note 2. Set pad 6 to type note MIDI channel 15 and note 12. Set pad 7 to type CC momentary MIDI channel 1 CC 37 and set the press and release to 35. Once again this is for the beats per minute for the tempo. So for your own song, set this to the tempo of your second song, minus 60. Now set pad 8 to type CC Momentary, MIDI channel 1, CC 38, and set the press and release to 1. Now send this preset back to the Vortex to your chosen preset number for song 2. Now change pad 4 to type note MIDI channel 14. And note 3. Set pad 5 to type note MIDI channel 15 and note 3. Pad 6 
to type note MIDI channel 15 and note 13. Pad 7 to type CC momentary, MIDI channel 1, CC 37 and press and release to zero, which will be a tempo of 60 beats per minute. Once again, change this to the tempo of your third song, minus 60. Finally, set pad 8 to type CC momentary, MIDI channel 1, CC 38 and press and release to 2. Send this preset back to your Vortex to your chosen preset number for song 3. Back in Ableton Live Lite, select your preset for song 1 on the Vortex Wireless 2. Select the Instrument Rack track, click on Song 1, click on Chain in the Child Instrument Rack. Now click on MIDI Learn. Click on the Chain Selector Ruler, then click on Pad 1 on the Vortex. Now click on Song 2. Click on the Chain Selector Ruler again and press Pad 1 on the Vortex. Click on Song 3, click on the Chain Selector Ruler again and click on Pad 1 on the Vortex. Now click on Hide, click on Chain of the parent instrument rack. Click on the chain selector ruler and click pad 8 on the vortex. Now click on the stop button then click pad 3 on the vortex. Now click on the tempo and click pad 7 on the vortex. Now set the minimum to 60 and the maximum to 187. Pads 1, 2, 3, 7 and 8 are now set up for all your playlist Vortex Wireless 2 presets. Click on the Master Scene Start button for row 1 with Song 1 in it. And click on Pad 4 on the Vortex. Click on MIDI to turn MIDI Learn off. Click on the Drum Rack track. Click on Pad 5 on the Vortex and watch the Pad Overview to see which pad lights up yellow. Click on your chosen audio file you added earlier to the Drum Rack and drag it to the correct drum rack pad. Do the same with pad 6 if you have a second audio file to set up. The preset for song 1 is now set up. Select your preset for song 2 on your Vortex Wireless 2. Click on MIDI Learn. Click on the Master Scene Start button for the row with song 2 in it. Click on pad 4. Click on MIDI to turn MIDI Learn off. Click on pad 5 and watch the pad overview to see which pad lights up yellow. Click on your chosen audio file you added earlier to the drum rack and drag it to the correct drum rack pad. Do the same with pad 6 if you have a second audio file to set up. The preset for song 2 is now set up. Select your preset for song 3 on your Vortex Wireless 2. Click on MIDI Learn. Click on the Master Scene Start button for the row with Song 3 in it and click on Pad 4 on the Vortex. Now click on MIDI to turn MIDI Learn off. Click on Pad 5 and watch the Pad Overview to see which pad lights up yellow. Click your chosen audio file you added earlier to the drum rack and drag it to the correct drum rack pad. Do the same with Pad 6 if you have a second audio file to set up. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.